Uh, what is vertex form? And Dana, what is our H value? And what is your K value? So what rule did you write? X what? Plus or minus? Y. Class, show me your thumbs, up or down. That is correct. So if you need to add this on your formula sheet, <clears throat> the rule that you're creating is really this. X plus H, uh, Y plus K. So we talked about, you don't have to have a table of values, so we just did our fill in the blank with the rule. And our parent function has the order pairs. If you put in a one, you get one squared is one. Two squared is four. But now what we're doing is we're adding those values, right? So if I add 3 here, what do I get, Raymond? Put the minus 2 here. Yes. And positive 2. All right, so let's go ahead and graph this. The big idea you should get is the visual is your parent function. And class, what does a plus 3 mean? Uh, right or left? Right, right. right 3. And what does a negative 2 mean on the y-axis? Down, down. down 2. So your graph... If you're going right three units, down two should look something like this. Really, you only need one graph. It's just, I'm trying to show you that from the vertex here, you're going right three units, and then down two. I should color code that. If you're going right three, and then our purple is down two. So basically all you're doing there is applying a rule and you're basically just transfer, uh, translating a function.